Hello students, welcome to my channel online biology tutorials. We are back again to study another topic from chapter number 5, the fundamental unit of life. Before I start, let's give a shout out to all the students who are participating in each video by giving me the right answer in the comment. So their names are Devik, Tia, Bhavna Bhagwanta, and someone has subscribed by the name of Mad Boys LOL. It would be great if you could tell me your name. Someone with Rajiv Gupta has also subscribed. Thank you for participating. Preeti Pal Kaur is also being participating actively. Thank you to all the students who are liking the videos and continuously giving me the answers. There was one answer being given wrong in which I asked that what are the examples of cell component. Remember you cannot give any example of a cell in it. One student has given me the answer as nerve cell. It's a wrong answer because I asked the cell components, right? So inside the cell components, we can name any cell organelle that would be marked as a correct one. Now let's start with a cell organelle and this time we are going to discuss vacuole. Now vacuoles, they vary in both plant and the animal cell. When I say vary, that means there is a difference between the vacuoles present in the plant cell and vacuoles present in the animal cell, right? Let's study with the help of a diagram. Suppose this black structure which I have drawn right now, this is an example of a plant cell. The outermost layer, of course, it would be cell wall and the red layer which I am drawing right now, it would be plasma membrane. Now, in case of plant cell, the vacuoles, they are bigger and they are centrally placed. Now, if you could observe vacuole which is being drawn by blue color, this is occupying the major portion of a plant cell because of which the nucleus is at the periphery. This is nucleus. And when I say periphery, I mean to say that it is towards the boundary, right? So we have learned that in the plant cell, vacuoles, they are generally centrally placed. So one point we need to write that in PC, PC means plant cell, Vacuoles are bigger in size, bigger in size and smaller in number, right? This is very important point to be written. Now, let's talk about animal cell. Suppose this is our animal cell. The number of vacuoles will be higher in comparison to the plant cell. Here you can three see that I have drawn three vacuoles. Okay. So in the case of animal cell, we will be writing upon that in animal cell, the size of the vacuoles will be smaller and their number in a cell would be greater. This is very important point that in plant cell the number of vacuoles will be less because they are bigger in size whereas in the animal cell the vacuoles will be more in number but they will be smaller in size. Now we have already discussed about lysosomes. If you haven't watched the video on lysosomes please do watch it out. Whenever we talk about a modern cell 
or a eukaryotic cell. Now, eukaryotic cell is a modern cell and human beings, they fall in this category, right? In human beings, majority of the cell organelles, they are double membranous. Double membranous means they will contain two membranes. But the exceptions are lysosomes and vacuoles. Means, in spite of being found in the eukaryotic cell, they will always contain one membrane. And one membrane can also be written as a single membrane. Suppose this is the vacuole. Here I have drawn just one layer with the help of a green color. And this defines the membrane of the vacuole. And here it is very important to note that the membrane of the vacuole is known as tonoplast. This is very important question that what is the membrane of the vacuole being known as. You can see that inside there is something in the vacuole. Now what is the basic function of a vacuole? A vacuole may help in storage. A vacuole may also help in maintaining the osmoregulation. Osmoregulation refers to the amount of solute and solvent in a cell. I hope solute and solvent terms are already clear to you. They were already being explained in the osmosis video. So if you haven't watched that video on osmosis where we, I have talked about solute, solvent, solution, please do watch it. Okay, so it is actually the function of vacuole that decides that how much solute, how much solvent should be there in a cell. So their major role is that they help in storing a fluid and they also help in regulating how much solute, how much solvent should stay in a cell. This is all regarding the vacuole. Only this much you should know and the point of difference between the plant cell and the animal cell vacuole is important. Now, my question for this video is, does vacuoles help in locomotion? Locomotion is changing your position from one place to another, okay? So, you need to pick up either true or false as an answer to this question. So, we are done with vacuoles, lysosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body and many other cell organelles. These all videos are in the playlist of my channel. If you go to the playlist, you will find a folder of class 9, the fundamental unit of life. Videos are being played serially. So, it would be a great recommendation the students who are just joining my channel to view all the videos in a sequence that will help you in better understanding and all the topics are according to NCRT. See you in next video with some more learning. Please do consider subscribing and pressing the bell button. It will be worthwhile for every student. Thank you.